they think what I mean. What is going on my birdies? It is Andrew of Vita AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Bowser type beat. Bowser is a German artist, so I am sorry if you don't know about him. He's fire. He has a lot of um, various different songs. He works with uh, Summer Sim sometimes. Uh, besides the point. Um, this is for all, I guess you would say my Ger German or European audience, uh, and I guess any US person that knows his music. This beat, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. It's more of like a dancey, electronic, uh, vibey track. Not so much of a single, but, uh, it would be something more of like his R&B type of joints. Um, yeah, poppy. I'm gonna go ahead and play it though. That would be uh, my interpretation of making a Bowser type beat. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what we're going for. Now if you guys look at my screen, you guys can see that I labeled it all. Um, we got the intro, verse, so the verse introduces like our idea in the song, goes onto the bridge, start introducing that catchiness, and then the chorus. But then the chorus is split into two halves as you, as you you can see like right here and then right here um this part is where we introduce that uh every four beat um kick <laughs> Then we pull back the uh, kicks. Um, 
and some other elements but uh i figured uh what we could do is just go through the song all the way through the outro intro to outro each little block and then i would go into uh exactly what it what's in it and how it works and why it works uh for now i'm gonna turn off my ozone on my master which my ozone um just to go ahead uh it has some mixing elements so if you notice a difference in the sound that's that's why because i'm turning it off because of the computer latency so <clears throat> intro first uh four bars that's what we got or first two bars So what, what what do we got? So I got Cthulhu, which is a program that creates uh, chords. I select the scale on my uh, Cthulhu program, and it essentially creates the chord. It helps you with uh, coming up with a nice melodies or chord progressions uh given that every key is laid out to a different chord in that progression that you select uh i'm in a expansion pack called ovm moody and i have uh, c minor as my root scale so all the chords i'm doing are in c minor if you want to know the exact chord it will indicate right here where the cthulhu monster is and it will kind of tell you the exact chord plan at that instance so start with the f minor 7 c minor 7 a sharp major break c and then f minor and that's all the chords are that's the chords loop like that if you want to see the structure this is a structure But ignore this because these notes don't matter because the notes don't matter because it just roots, it changes per each key. Um, so what matters is looking at the Cthulhu and then just looking at here and using your ears to figure out the best melody. And I figured this one worked. Uh, so then what I have next is some vocals, it's Glass House's expansion inside the Arc Outputs Arcade, which is a subscription-based uh, VST. Um, it's really cool, it uses a lot of different loops, and I set mine to C minor, so that's what we get for the vocals. Like, That's what we got right there. Now we introduce another one. This has more. This one has another vocal layer. Yeah. So this is outputs exhale. And so it's just a different uh, vocal sample. And we introduce that halfway in the intro when we come into the verse. Same Cthulhu program um, notes, I mean, not program. And we have this little bass, FF, um, A sharp. If you want to get your um, your grid, so you could do these triplets, you go to your snap tool, go to third step, and it's every other one, I believe. Something like that. So you can change your uh, grid mode right there. Um, Collapse right there. Here's the kicks. You can see the pattern. Boom, boom. That's how we get that rhythm, is doing it on these off beats. Feeling that like 
triple kick right there. So this loops two times right here. Over half of that verse. Now we introduce um, the vocals and we introduce the 808. I based my 808 roughly off of the. You can see if you look at the bass note of every chord, it's usually how I did the uh, 808 placement. So F, F is a bass note. C, that's a bass note. A sharp. I kept on to C. C is still within the chord, so it still melodically works. Everything is in key. Um, because I know it's in C minor, what helps is if you just go to the helpers, skill highlighting, C, Aeolian, you'll also know what everything is in key. So it helps you with working with the Cthulhu as well. Uh, for when you do have to make your own melodies, because you should make your own melodies or use other samples or other things in conjunction. So it's not just that simple, but sometimes it works. So do whatever works. All these drums, all of these different drum samples are available in the AT Sound Kit 5, um, including the 808 and the hi-hat clap and percussion elements. Um, I'll play through all the percussive elements right now. So, going into the bridge now, we introduce the bass, vocals, get the And then I bring in like a low pass filter and a master. Created an automation fades out and goes into that filter. I mean, it goes into that swoosh up. To do the automation, all you do is find an element. So I did the mix knob for the EQ. Um, and I right click, create automation clip, and I draw it for ARN off. So it's, it turns ARN and it fades off right here. Now, um, for half of the bridge, I do bring in the 808 because I have that filter and when you put that filter really focuses on the low end. So it really allows that 808 and everything to come knock and it sounds like the songs getting played in like the other room type of vibe. So it just adds like a little bit of a cool transition. So when that chorus comes in, it hits even harder. And going into that chorus, we just have all the elements uh, going on for the f uh, first half. So well, one, two vocals, the chords. We don't have the bass, actually. So I apologize, not all the elements. The claps, hi-hats, kicks, uh, little tom, a rim. Uh, a spread this like a uh, percussion snare uh, every two step uh, hi-hat and then our 808 pattern again and then over here we just cut the 808 at the end so it's nothing crazy. And then right here is where we do that four step uh, kick with the bass and we can get rid of the 808. It kind of introduces like a different groove or beat or like rhythm to the song right here. Something a little bit more catchy. So you probably like loop over like your main phrase and uh that would be like the i guess you could call this uh 
hit the main wait main hook it would still be the chorus but you guys should understand so we come into a new pattern at this point right here which we have the chords the bass the hi-hats claps and percussion elements but no kicks like how we did here and we have that bass and we go back into that uh, pattern five which was introduced over here right there this part just loops again then we go into the bridge the bridge loops the same way same does the chorus and it goes all the way to the outro which is really all the per percussive elements in 808 i mean melodic elements in the 808 and but no percussive elements for the outro whereas the intro was a little bit more bare and this is like how you kind of make uh pretty much almost all the elements of this song are introduced in the first half of the chorus minus the uh, uh, bass stabs besides that almost everything is introduced in the course and we spread it out throughout the song and then that's how we are able to have like an interesting more so of an interesting beat um by also not doing a whole lot and you guys can see how i structured this and how this is more of like like a pop rap type of uh, structure more so pop uh, Ballas' music is more so pop R&B focused, I would say. We already kind of went through all the elements, uh, output, exhale, um, outputs, arcade, uh, Cthulhu, right there. We got this bass. I don't think I ever, oh, uh, the bells. Cthulhu, how Cthulhu works is it's sending those chords from um, the Cthulhu database. And it, and it goes into my input right here so i would set cthulhu's output to one and whatever vst i wanted to go into at one so i set it to atmosphere so i got this chime box and uh because i would i a lot of bowser's beats i say would say have more like bellish type of vibes i was originally trying to go for more of the dance hall pop vibe um this didn't really get all the way over to the dance hall vibes. I would say it's more so in uh, the pop R&B vibes and we're around uh, 100, we're at 104 BPM. Um, so that's like the BPM for dance hall as well as pop music. But uh, Baz, I had a lot of 100 BPMs as well as like, I think it was like 130s and then I think 150s. Um, he can he has a wide range of different beats the risers are from the AT sound kit 5 as well um, the master I got like this my EQ uh, my mix you could it's pretty much based on the it's based off of the sounds you have I usually turn and uh, I usually turn my kick in 808 into uh, mono as you can see down there I did a little separation with the bass stab, uh, EQ compression, and imaging to kind of make that bass stab uh, not clash with the 808 and go around um, Ozone for my master. This is where I did predominantly most of my master. Uh, I pulled down the low end, pulled up the more mid range and high end <clears throat> turned off dynamics uh like the uh, multi-band compression so we could get rid of that um then i had a dynamic eq pulling down some in that high and then some in here where we had some clashing with like the 808 and kicks just to make it sound a little bit more crispy pull down the ceiling and then pull down the limiter threshold to bring it back up and it got pretty it's pretty loud when, when we do all that that's how i would go about making a bowser type beat um more percussive elements uh more poppy you could see the structure intro verse bridge chorus m main hook still the chorus verse to bridge and it repeats we kind of changed up the first bit 
and uh, pull certain elements in and out and uh, try to get that master nice, loud, and crispy. So, yep, this is Andrew, B to AT, Production and Publishing. Um, I, if, you, if you guys want a little special check out in the description down below, I will put all the links to everything down there. Um, be sure to subscribe to stay tuned with more videos and let me know if you guys have any questions. This is Andrew. I'll see you guys later.